Okay, so we're going to classify equations, um, basically linear equations, one variable equations. And there's three classifications that we can have here. You can have a contradiction equation, conditional equation, or an identity equation. So in this case, a contradiction equation, this one's going to end up being a contradiction. And you've probably seen these before, but using different terminology. So to solve this, there's many ways to do this, um, this particular one. But what I like to do, since we've got a fraction over here, I mean, you could simplify it, do some other things, but I would go ahead and make them both fractions. I like to make them common denominators and then eliminate my denominator. So you could also cross multiply, but that one doesn't really show you how this works. So now if you look at these separately, um, on the left side we've got a 4 in the denominator, on the right side a 1 in the denominator. So we want it to be a common denominator of 4. Well, we don't have to multiply anything over here other than 1. It would remain 4. But over here, to make a denominator of 4, we need to multiply it by 4. And so on the left side, we'd have 4x plus 8 over 4 equals 4x plus 32 over 4. Because you need to distribute the 4 on the top through everything. And just like on the bottom, you distribute it down through. But it's just one thing. So then, once you have a common denominator, we could multiply both sides of the equation by 4 over 1. And what happens is, 4 divided by 4, those cross out. They reduce. So you have 4x plus 8 equals, and then you multiply this side by, whatever you do to the left side, you do to the right side. We're multiplying both by 4, and you'd have uh, 4x plus 32 because the 4's cross out over here, because this is 4 over 1. Apologize if I'm going too fast. And so 4 over 1 times basically 1 fourth is how I'm getting the 4's cancel out. That's how I'm getting that to cancel out. So now we can solve this thing. Well, typically you solve things by moving everything left, variables left, numbers right. You know, you can just get your variables on one side and your numbers on the other. Well, notice what happens when I subtract the 4x to the left. So I'm minusing it from both sides. What we end up with is 8 equals 32. All right, well, 8 cannot equal 32. So there's a couple ways to write this. Like, um, this is a contradiction equation because we've ended up with a contradiction. 8 cannot be 32. So we know that there is no solution to this problem. And your original is a contradiction equation. So, so when you have when your variable disappears and you have numbers that can't be equal, then we've got a contradiction. Can't happen. So now let's move on to a conditional equation. So conditional is when you get a normal, you get an answer. So again, I'm showing you a method to eliminate your fractions. So we've got three fourths x plus one half equals two thirds. So a good way to eliminate fractions is to get a common denominator. We've got 4, 2, 3. Common denominator is 12. So we're going to multiply. Um, to, we want 12 on everything. So this one we would need to multiply by 3 over 3. Because that's 1. 3 over 3 is 1. So it's OK to do that. And then I'm going to multiply this by a special number 1, which would be to make 12, we need 6 over 6. And on this one, 3, we need a 4 over 4, because that would make 12 on the denominator. So now we've got 9x over 12 plus 6 over 12 equals 8 over 12. And uh, we have a common denominator of 12, which, which would cross out, if you understand that. But if you take the whole equation, both sides, just like we did on the last problem, by 12 over 1, you know, 12 times 9 twelfths, is 9 because the 12's cross out. 12, you know, I'm distributing through 12 times 6 twelfths is 6, and 12 times 8 twelfths is 8. And so now it's just a matter of solving it like a fairly simple equation that, that it is. So 9x equals 2, x equals 2 ninths. So we actually came up with a solution. Now, I, to save time, I'm not going to check my answer, but you want to check your answer in these. In math, you can always find out if it's correct by just taking the 2 ninths and plugging it in for x right there. So 3 fourths times 2 ninths plus a half should equal 2 thirds. 
uh, but save time we won't worry about it. Well, we know that this is a conditional statement. The only answer, the only thing that makes that equation true is two ninths. So the condition is x has to be two ninths to make that true. No other number works. So that's an, a conditional equation. Uh, identity, something very different happens. So again, I've given you kind of a complex problem. You might want to go in and, and try this before you finish the problem out. But uh, the first thing is I'm going to start inside the brackets. So distribute through what you need to. So you'd have 3 parenthesis x minus 2x plus 10. Because I'm taking negative 2 and distributing it through there. And then minus 1 equals negative 3x plus 29. So um, what we do from here is uh, now I combine what I can combine. So the 3 gives you x, an x minus 2x, excuse me, that combines to negative x plus 10. Minus 1 equals negative 3x plus 29. And hopefully I haven't missed any negative signs. I haven't. So then you'd have negative 3x plus 30 minus 1, because you only distribute the 3 through the brackets, equals negative 3x plus 29. And uh, you keep going. So negative 3x, 30 minus 1 is 29. Minus negative 3x plus 29. And notice we've got the same thing on the left and the right. So if we were to add 3x to both sides to get an x to the left, you would have 0, and then you'd have 29 equals 29. Well, this is always true. So this is what's called an identity equation. And what it means, um, sometimes we would call this um, all real numbers would work here in this equation. Any number you plug in. So, and you could try a few if you want. This stands for numbers. I'm kind of I'm getting lazy and throwing in a bunch of symbols. No wonder math teachers get themselves into trouble with all the symbols. But if you went back to this original equation and put in any number, like if we say we put in 5, wherever there's an x. So we, you put in a 5 here, put in a 5 here, put in a 5 here. You're going to get true on this side and true on this side. So it's going to be the same on both sides. I shouldn't say true on both sides. The left side is going to equal the right side. That's probably a better way to say that. So that's uh, an identity equation, which back when you were probably in Algebra 1 or Algebra 2, those were all real numbers is typically what you're teacher told you to write. So that is the way to classify uh, equations. So you've got three, you've got contradiction, conditional, and identity. Contradictions when you have no solution or a solution is not possible. Uh, a conditional is when you actually get an answer. In our case we got two nights. And then the third one is identity which means you've got an infinite amount of answers. All real numbers would work in this equation. And we call that the identity equation. So, good luck. I hope this helps. And see you next time.